Welcome. In front of me is a TCL50 SE and today I will show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this device. I'm going to open up settings and from here we can navigate to the display section and here I'm going to start off with the dark theme. So we have two options, we can either permanently enable it or you can enable it on a schedule. So this will turn it on at 10 p.m. and turn it off at 7 a.m. So it gives you dark mode only during the night time, which obviously would help you with not getting flashbanged by your own device during night if you want to check the time. Uh, now going a little bit further down, we have also things like color, mode, and temperature. And this just allows you to customize how vibrant the display is. Now, if you find that the vivid mode, which is enabled by default, is a little bit too saturated, you could change it to natural or advanced, just gives you a bit more options. Uh, we do have apparently sRGB uh, right here. So this is supposedly would be uh, more color accurate. Um, oops. Obviously, if you don't actually start swiping on the scroll wheel right here for colors. Um, now, sRGB looks to be very similar to natural. Yep, I, at least on the camera, I didn't see any difference. Let's see. Yeah, I honestly don't see any difference. So it looks like natural is basically the same thing as sRGB. Now, uh, moving further down, we have also refresh rate. So this defines how smooth the display looks like, how many times it refreshes per second. Uh, the typical, like all the devices were doing 60. So your TV probably also does 60 for the most part. Uh, now devices do a little bit more. This one it allows you to do a refresh rate up to 90 hertz. So whenever you're scrolling down, it will look a bit smoother. Now it is enabled on a smart um smart option, which is uh, if you want to use the high refresh rate, it's the go-to option that you want to choose. But if you want to prioritize battery life, you might want to switch it to 60. This will give you obviously better battery life, but it won't be as smooth. Now, the reason I don't recommend going for the 90, it's because at 90, it would permanently run the display at this refresh rate, and it would be wasting battery when there is nothing moving on a screen. So for instance, right here, the display could drop to 60 Hertz, uh, giving you better battery life. And it doesn't obviously need that 90 here because th there is literally nothing moving here. So even if you would have one frame per second, you still wouldn't see any difference between uh, a thousand frames and one, as long as obviously nothing is moving. The moment you start scrolling, it automatically switches to the high refresh rate, giving you that nicer, uh, smooth motion. Now, below we have also a couple other some things like a status bar and a notch. So here we have additional options for like battery, how the percentages is being displayed. And a notch is kind of, uh, I would say outdated at this point as we don't really have a notch. We just have a whole punch camera. Uh, you can get rid of it by just doing uh, this. Personally, I don't like it. So I prefer to just have a whole punch camera. And we have also notification uh, icon folder. So instead of showing you the icons each individually, it just gives you a summarize of how many notifications you have. It does give you a cleaner look to your device, which is something that I actually like to use. Uh, I would also like to have the option to remove these, but I don't think there is a way to do so. I'll check that in a second as I haven't actually checked, but most devices do not have this. Now, uh, going back uh, to the main settings page, we have things like Next Vision. Now, this is showing up throughout the setup process of the phone, but if you decided to kind of skip through this, what it is just a, a way to try to improve the image quality by making it more saturated, more contrasty, so it looks more appealing to the eye. As you can see, the colors pop out more, while the blacks retain uh, the they're kind of like black levels. So it does look more appealing. And we have a couple of ways. So we have the image uh, for the images, for the videos, and also and also games. Um, now this will consume, I believe, more of your phone's battery as it does try to use the processor to try to enhance it possibly. Uh, but obviously that is something that you can check out how big of an impact that is, if any. And also if you even like the changes. Now we do have a couple additional options right here below that, but I'm not actually going to go through those. I wanted to just focus on these ones. Now, if we go into, oops, not here. Well, there we go. Uh, to buttons and gestures, uh, here we have system navigation. So you can choose between a couple different navigation styles. We have the buttons, uh, which I've been using right now, and we have also gestures. Now, going back to the buttons and here we do do have the option to switch the uh, the recent uh, with back uh, button 
so it just kind of flips them over if that is something that you might be more used to but I personally like gestures so that's what I'm gonna enable right now unfortunately there is no way to hide the guide bar by the looks of it so it's just gonna be stuck here some phones do have that option but it looks like we don't have anything here associated with just getting rid of this kind of bar and we also have uh, options for the power button so we have long uh, press power button that gives you the uh, power mini which is the default one uh, we also have the digital assistant uh, now i do really appreciate the fact that uh, tcl decided to go with the power mode instead of the assistant by default but if you have been used to using the assistant by holding the power button you can enable it in here and there's also the option for quick opening camera by double pressing and ending calls uh, now if if you open up camera by mistake you might want to turn that off by just spamming power button sometimes it does happen to me and personally i just prefer to unlock it and use the camera like that or let's see if we do have this right here and we also have this so for some reason it wants me to unlock the device not not as convenient as i thought oh okay so i think i was just trying to unlock it so do i press it and there we go so i long press it so obviously you don't need to have the power button, double press uh, power button to capture a screenshot or not screenshot, uh, to open up camera, sorry. As you can just do it from the lock screen anyway. So it's still pretty fast. Um, not as fast obviously as the double press, uh, but still relatively convenient. Now, with that being said, this would conclude all the tweaks and tricks that I want to show you. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.